Neil here from Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about outside the waistband holsters and inside the waistband holsters. Who makes them, what the difference is, and how they're used. So here we go. So we'll start with outside the waistband. And OW, if you see the word OWB or IWB, all there, this is abbreviation for outside the waistband, or IWB is inside the waistband. OWB, IWB. So OWB, outside the waistband, this is nothing more than a holster that holds your gun on the outside of your waistband, not the inside. And they come in a variety of different uh, configurations. This one here is what we call a paddle holster. So I'll show you how this works. So with the paddle holster, you have simply a paddle that will go uh, through the belt, and this goes against the outside of your skin. And you can also have a belt slide. I greatly prefer belt slides over paddle holsters. Um, but in this particular configuration uh, with this Alien Gear holster, this panel is significantly better. But uh, again, this isn't about brands, this is about types. The advantage of having a panel holster is that you can take it on and off without taking your belt off, so it does make it convenient. The disadvantage is it's never going to be as secure, I don't care how well they make it, it's never going to be as secure as an entire belt slide, because a belt slide will be have attachments here and attachment here. So you literally have to totally destroy the plastic or take the belt off entirely in order to get that off. So outside the waistband. The other thing that we're going to talk about today is construction. So this is a Kydex, a hard plastic holster. And so that the gun, when it's put into the holster, actually has retention. So it will hold just by the molding of it and the tension of the screws. And that's adjustable in a lot of these. Okay, so that's what that Kydex is. And they're going to be custom made for each individual specific uh, make and model. We have uh, two different types of nylon holsters. Um, this is an outside the waistband holster that has some, a little bit of, of rigidity. There's a little bit of a spine built in here. These are super cheap. They're uh, universal and basically uh, they're designed to take a variety of different handguns. These are, honestly, these are garbage. You would never ever carry this as a, a primary holster. I keep these around for when students don't have a holster, okay? And they come in different sizes and basically it'll say in the back size 5, size 15, whatever, and it'll list a whole list of different firearms that will generally fit inside here. But these are very cheap, again, basically for training for people who don't have them. Uh, that's what these are for, but other than that, these really have no real place in an actual defensive carry. The other nylon style, which we'll switch gears when we get into inside the waistband, is a nylon style with a clip and it goes inside the pant and they basically they have no rigidity at all and they you put the gun in there and as soon as you put them pull them out the belt keeps the uh, closes the, the holster those are extreme garbage don't ever buy those um, good chance you're gonna end up getting hurt because what most people do unfortunately is instead of taking the holster out and putting the whole rig back in they'll try to reholster that and so they do something really stupid like go like this and point at themselves and trying to pry that front end, that uh, holster open and push it down. Or they pull their hand out and they muzzle their own hand while they're trying to stick this gun in there. So those are, those are a really bad idea. So those, those flat inside the waistband, or waistband uh, holsters, those are garbage. The last type of outside the waistband holster you'll find is a, like a pancake style where you'll actually see loops that are molded in one piece that the belt runs through. A um, couple companies, for example, G-Code, um, Bravo Concealment, very good companies that make those. Again, hard plastic, custom fit, some of them will hold bites if that's, that's your deal, whatever the case is, but they're custom made to your gun. And then the, the whole belt goes to the one piece, very sturdy, very strong. They tend to keep it really close to the body. Uh, those are going to be at a higher price point than obviously any of that, but well worth it for a holster because that's super important. So. Uh, whichever time you go, whether it's a paddle or a slide, just understand too, there's also that pancake style that the plastic molded uh, clips that go on there. Okay, now we're going to switch gears to inside the waistband, IWB, inside the waistband. And this is uh, Alien Gear again, brand's not important, just the type of holster we're talking about. They usually have some type of backing here, this one has a uh, like a wetsuit material that goes against your skin. And then the belt is actually going to run between these, uh, in this case, these loops, and it goes around the holster. So. I understand there's a lot of confusion how these actually go on, how they fit, so let's, uh, let's show how that works. All right, so the way this works, you're going to loosen up your, uh, your belt and your pants here. This goes on the inside, inside the whole deal, except for these, these loops, okay? So the first loop, we're going to loop that around the belt. Second loop, we're going to put this guy on, 
goes in the back. Okay. And then we're going to snap this guy in. Okay. Once your holster is secure, then you can go ahead and, and put your firearm in there. Holds it nice and tight to the body. Very, uh, very good for concealment. So then what I would do next, if I was just going to wear a t-shirt and say it was hot outside or something to that nature, well, we would uh, take our, our uh, t-shirt out here. Oops. I got caught in the holster. And there you go. We'll wear this out. And now I've got my concealment deal here. Okay. And then when I need to, of course, I can still access my firearm uh, when I have to. So again, I've said this in previous videos, but uh, I highly, highly suggest you guys get some type of button loop, some type of closure that goes around the belt rather than those plastic metal clips. Because I know from experience, those, the whole holster will eventually come out. It will happen. So get the clips that uh, go, loops, I'm sorry, that go all the way around the belt. Uh, the other nice feature about these, other than being excellent for concealed carry, is that obviously we can simply un, un, uh, unhook or undo our buttons back here if you have a loop style. Okay, and then we can loosen our belt. And this whole piece can come straight out. So, super easy. One thing to note with uh, any type of uh, outside the waistband or inside the waistband holster, typically the ones that have this weight dispersed out here like a pancake style with two clips that move away on each side, these are typically set up more for the way I carry the, the 4 o'clock, 4.30 position back here. But uh, of course, uh, appendix carry, that's uh, appendix again, just to be clear, appendix is right here. For those of you that like to do that, typically a, a specific appendix style holster will have just one clip. The whole point of that is to minimize everything as small as possible because uh, obviously we don't have a ton of room here and look like we're something's, we're pregnant men or something, something strange, right? So you'll find that the ones with the one clip are usually designed specifically for the appendix position. A lot of people also assume that uh, all outside the waistband is not for concealed carry. Uh, sometimes depending on where you live, like I live in Siberia here, and so in the winter time when you're wearing heavy coats and jackets and things, you can easily can still conceal an outside the waistband, especially if you're not going to be going to a restaurant where you're taking everything off. If you're just going out to do work or whatever the case is, outside the waistband is still concealable. Preferably for me, uh, always inside the waistband is best because you never know what's going to happen and then we don't have to worry about taking off any jackets and stuff and trying to hide anything. So either way though, understand that the outside the waistband is very comfortable as well, one of the features of it. Inside the waistband can be comfortable too. So it just depends on what your needs are and what you're going to be doing that day. One thing I always try to convey when we talk about anything that has to do with carrying, regardless of how you're going to carry, is be consistent in the position on your body that you carry. You don't want to train and get a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand repetitions at a four o'clock position and then you carry appendix. Obviously, when shit hits the fan and you just have to react, you're going to go for where your gun is not. So pick a position, stay consistent with it, and train with it. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Hope you got some good tips out of it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Feel free to comment, but don't fight. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Yeah.